Everyone knows weeds in the lawn will spoil the appearance and prevent you from having a great looking lawn. This can be even worse in a newly sown lawn because after you've sown a lawn from seed, chances are you'll see a number of weeds coming through from any soil that's been disturbed during the process. In this video, I'm going to be looking at where those weeds came from in the first place and how you can control them to get a thick and healthy lawn. This episode is part of my four week lawn renovation challenge where I take a lawn from scratch to looking great in just four weeks. After we'd seeded and top dressed the lawn, this was the starting point around four weeks ago. You can see during the process, there's lots of bare soil exposed and also some of the subsoil beneath that was disturbed during the process. This is gonna provide a lot of potential for new weed seeds to germinate and weeds to spread within our lawn. I'm gonna get into all the detail about how you can prevent new weed seeds germinating and what you need to do when they do germinate in a newly seeded lawn. But first, let's check out how the lawn's been getting on over the last two weeks. So here's how the lawn looks after 28 days and you can see it's really filled in other than one area from the rain. Let's go and have a look at what weeds we've got in the lawn at the moment and then what we're going to do to address it. Here's a weed that's blending in with the grass at this point and it's called yarrow. It's not as visible as some of the broadleaf weeds that I've got in the lawn but it still needs to be taken out as it's a weed. Here you can see the start of a dandelion weed forming. Starting to build a level of understanding about the different types of weeds in your lawn will help you make more educated decisions of how to control them later. I'll link a guide to the UK's most common weeds in a card when it comes out. The last thing I'm seeing in the lawn is our old favourite, annual meadow grass. So you can see the lawn isn't that bad at the moment, but the key to this is the first tip, which is about preparation. We killed the weeds off at the start of the project and we used a sterilised or weed free top dressing as well as good quality seeds. The products that I use are in the description below. In terms of controlling the weeds that we do have left in the lawn, you look at most selective lawn weed killers and it'll say something on the back like do not use on newly sowed lawns for at least six months. So I'm not going to be recommending you to use these type of products to kill your new weeds. However, there are two methods that are available to you to control the weeds. The first method is actually hand pulling them as you're doing your cuts and keeping an eye on when they're small. When the weeds are small like this, it's quite easy to pull the weed out by hand and you can actually get the whole of the weed, including the tap root, so it doesn't come back, as you can see here. This is going to work the best when you followed the preparation steps from before about controlling the weeds up front and using the right products that are weed free and sterilised to help the reintroduction of new weeds into your lawn. It also works better on small areas where you can actually keep on top of it. If you've got a larger garden, this may not be practical, but little and often you will get to control the weeds. The next option available to you is regular mowing. When you're ready to mow your lawn, regular mowing will help weaken the new weeds that have just germinated. This is the second cut of the lawn and I'm setting the setting to 50 millimeters. Currently it's around 3 inches or 75 centimetres, so we're going to be removing around a third of the grass blade during this cut. You'll be slowly reducing the height of the cut over the first four cuts. Keep dropping the height until you hit your final target length. 
you'll find that regular mowing of your new grass will weaken some of the weeds and actually a lot of them will die off through regular mowing and the new grass will grow stronger. Combine this with the manual method and regular mowing to keep control of weeds in your new lawn. In terms of the project overall, the rest of the grass is coming on absolutely fine. You can see from the thumbnail I've just dropped in how much we've come on in the last three or four weeks. But there are still some areas that need to be filled in that were really damaged by the rain and perhaps some of the seeds washed away. On the other hand, we're already getting some really thick and dense stripes and I'm absolutely confident with a quick overseeding we can get these spots to fill in and have a great lawn for the summer. After the cut you'll be able to see the remaining weeds that are left in the lawn and some of these you'll be able to pull out any that you missed on the first pass. I'm not really sure how I missed this king dandelion here. The seed that I've used for the project is the A1 uh, Premiership Pro Seed. I've linked it down in the description below if you want to check it out. It's a ryegrass monoculture, which basically means that it only contains ryegrass. And I'm hoping that it will really stand up to some of the poor soil conditions and the weather conditions that this front lawn faces. Even after four weeks, I'm starting to see some strong stripes and I've got a lot of hope for the future. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. In the next video we'll be looking at when to fertilise your new grass seed and also how you're going to tackle filling in some of the ball patches that you might experience after seeding a new lawn. If you've got any questions about this process or about the series in general leave a comment below and in the meantime I've linked some videos that you might find useful for DIY lawn care to get the most out of your lawn at home. Also if you're looking to buy any lawn care products all the links to the products that I use are in the description below. If you click on these links, I'd get a small amount of commission. It helps me support the stream and it doesn't cost you guys anything more in product costs. I really appreciate all your support and I'll see you in the lawn.